Well, you all know the poop cart right here. Uh, I, um, what was it, a week or two? No, it was over a week or two ago. Uh, two weeks ago, let's go with that date, uh, I was, um, I grabbed up my wife in a little chunk, put them in here, and I also deadlifted this thing in here, just like this. I didn't put the seats down, but deadlifted it in, and I had this bungee cord right here, had it secured right here, and went to go dump it. Then as I, um, uh, as we got to the place, to the uh, RV dump station, I was like, oh, well, uh, maybe I need to turn it around. And I had it in here. It was tilting a little bit. And I turned it. And when I did that, this wall right here decided to say, hey, what does that orange thing at the bottom do? And that opened up and started spewing all of the poop from the poop cart all over the place. And that was not a fun thing. It was not a good time. Not at all, because everything in here got filled with poop. That's not fun. And I, um, luckily we were at an RV dump station and I positioned the van so all the poop would roll downhill out the door, out the drain holes. And I spent the half hour spraying everything out. Spray, 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 spray. And uh, until I got, I, until I saw clear water because it was brown water everywhere. The chunk and my wife were over at the uh, little playground area. And they, um, uh, <laughs> my wife was looking horrified, but didn't want to say anything. She just knew that I would figure it out somehow. So got all that sprayed out. I uh, sprayed some Lysol down just for us to be able to get back in the van and uh, get up here to the top of the mountain and, um, uh, and not have such a terrible ride home. It wasn't that bad coming home, but I still wanted to sanitize it. And I grabbed my, uh, my ozone generator, which is this thing right here. This little box right here, I I don't know the wizardry of this or how it works. Uh, Tom, uh, Lucky Double FC, uh, one of my uh, brothers, my teammates, my coaches uh, from back east, he started doing mold removal and stuff from houses. And uh, he said how simple it was is you find the mold if it's so bad that you actually have to take the walls out, you got to do that. But if not, you get one or a few of these, put it in there for a day or so, and it kills all the mold, it kills all the smells, all of that stuff. So uh, I think it was before we left New Jersey, I got one of the, I, well, I purchased this one, and it, it has been working out so great. Uh, whenever there's like a mildewy smell uh, in a place or um, I'm trying to think what else uh, we got a vehicle riding past uh, but if it, it's a mildewy smell or a um, uh, if there's mold or something like that this ozone generator will um, hey how's it going uh, this ozone generator will knock that out and because I have a solar setup in here and a um, uh, an inverter, I was able to plug this in, leave it running. So uh, the sun usually pu purifies everything, but I, I can't turn my van on the side and let the sun come in. I was able to run this, I, I think I, I wanted to go on the safe side. I ran this for maybe a day, just about. And uh, when you run it, uh, you can't be inside uh, the room, vehicle, or wherever you decide the, uh, to put the ozone generator uh, because it, it creates ozone. Uh, what does ozone smell like? Ozone smells like chlorine from a pool. So uh, when you get one of these things, you just set it up. You have to close up 
uh, the room or the area and just let it go. Inside there, you'll see like a little purple light. And I'm not sure what the chemical reaction is that this thing does, uh, but it purifies everything. Gets any smell out of anything. Uh, they have bigger ones, like more commercial grade ones, but for everything that I've needed this for, it's worked out good. And I think I paid 60, $62 on Amazon for it. And it has uh, worked time and time again. I've loaned it out to people. It's worked for them. They gave it back. I, I don't know how long this thing is supposed to last for, but it was an amazing investment. You should have one in case you have a room or something that uh, it gets rank smelling. You have some animals inside. You have a pet smell inside your house. Uh, use one of these, it'll clear it out because it cleared the poop smell out of my van from uh, the poop cart opening up. That's why I had to clean, not only clean out the van again, but in the back, uh, have it so where the poop cart could go in the back instead of in here where it's not that much space where I had to stand it up. But it could go in the back and lay down so I don't have to worry about uh, me trying to spin it around and that cap coming off. So uh, outside of that, we should be good. Get your ozone generator. It, uh, it has a timer on it for 90 minutes. Uh, or you could just leave it on where it says hold. That's what I uh, usually do, and I time it myself to uh, to get optimal uh, optimal use out of it. It's it was very inexpensive for what it does. You should try it out. It's way better than an air freshener because air fresheners just mask the smell. This purifies it, deadens it, kills mold, bacteria, and all of that. So. Hopefully, uh, if you need one, check it out. I'll leave a link in the bio. Shalom.